Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I have a little video called This Is BS and basically it's just things that I've been doing for a long time and then they're changing them again. Because it's happened, it's happened a few times before. And this time, I'll tell you about the other things that happened. Uh, ever since we moved here, my dad, my sister moved here because I was in the army, I was in Germany, like May sometime in may in 1990 right so i've been here ever since my like you know my dad passed away last last summer and my sister lives in mccain and it's just me and maggie now you know and we've been paying the water bill at our bank uh well community national since you know we moved here and uh it's always nice to go in and say uh you know here's my have talked to somebody and pay your bill you know, they stamp it, you have that receipt and stuff like that, and go on your merry way, you know. Well, I've been doing it for a while, and then they switched uh, Community National, then became Andover Bank, you know, in October, November, officially. And now I get this thing from the water bill company. Right there says, attention all Cranesville Borough water sewer users, users. Effective July 16, 2016, water sewer payments will no longer be accepted at Andover Bank. Said payments can be mailed, placed in the door slot, which I'm not going to do, or hand delivered to the borough office. I'm not going to do because I work. And they're only open like three days a week. Like, they're open from like 9 to 3, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and that's it. So it's very inconvenient for me because I work days. And also, I can't pay online because they charge you an additional $3.50 to pay online. That's foolish. I'm going to have to start paying by check. You know, and, and that's crazy, you know, because I used to, because I've been, we've been doing this through the bank, so I don't know how long, and there's two, there's one in Albion and one in Cranesville. The one in Cranesville is very convenient to, to uh, pay your check at someone's mowing the lawn again. Oh, no, that's Kennedy doing that stuff. It's just like uh, when I was, uh, <clears throat> when we were paying the cable bill, we used to have like three different cable companies. We had Tri Cable. We had Tri Cable. We had Adelphia. Then we had Time Warner Cable. And there was like a little cable place that you go right there, real close by. You go right down, pay in person, right, with your bill. And then when they switched to Time Warner Cable, uh, like five months later, that place got shut down. And that was a real shame. I enjoyed paying. I like just going there, talking to somebody, and paying your bill. And the same thing happened with uh, school taxes. Because um, they had Northwestern School District, they had their own little tax office there. You go in there and they look over and they say, "Yep, that's good," and they accept it right there, and no, uh, no hassle, no fuss, no nothing. And then they switched uh, in 2013 to uh, Berkheimer tax people. You know, it's crazy. Oh well, at least I can do this for three more months, but it's just BS, you know. Because I like going to the bank, you know, I can cash my check. And then I can pay the water bill the same day. It was it was just easier that way, at least for me. And you can talk to somebody when you're paying it. It's just BS. Maybe I'm just old fashioned, but I like paying it at the bank. By the effect of July 16th, I won't be able to anymore. It sucks. So, and I don't know who just thought if it's Andover Bank, which I doubt, or the Cranesville Borough, which I, th I I pretty much assume it will be. I have to make some phone calls and see what's going on. There's my little video called That's BS. And until next time, bye, please. Take care of my allegiance from my front porch. You can hear the birds, too. It sounds pretty cool. All right. Take care, everyone.